G'day Smoking Dagger fans. Today we're gonna to spin right around. We're doing a rotisserie episode. We're gonna do lamb kebabs because nothing hits harder sensational meat box up for a night on the Terps. So stick around, see how we do it. Barbecue setup and the final product. Enjoy guys. To slap down your meat, we're gonna go with some butterfly lamb leg here. This is already seasoned from the butcher, saving us a bit of time. We're gonna need shortcut bacon. Heaps of fat on here will help with the rendering. Onion and garlic. These have a sharp knife. We've gone for a medium sized blade here. Give it a quick honing just before you're cutting the lamb. Cheeky margarita wouldn't go astray. So slicing your meat, we're going to create small strips here. Nothing too large in size or shape. So you're going to want to go for a thin profile, medium fat content. We don't want to trim off anything here really. Imagine that these slices are going to get jam packed like pancakes on the skewer when we're done. And just look at the marbling from this lamb. But leg, that is just excellent quality. So we're getting our seasoning here. This butcher's axe sky rope blend is perfect for souvlakis, kebabs, shawarma, anything with a nice Greek authentic charcoal fire flavor. And we're going to go heavy on the garlic granules here. Finally chopping them up and then adding them to the olive oil, lamb leg and the seasoning mixing all together. Now we sandwich everything onto the skewer and we're creating a layered effect as you can see. Push it right down and the last step is dousing everything in a healthy coating of mayonnaise. We've gone with a chili mayo here. And then the final coat. This will make your bark really stand out on the kebab. And you'll achieve that picture perfect look while it's spinning over the rotisserie flames. Exactly what you want. A few moments later another first bite. <laughs> Great success. Delicious. So good smoke flavor, good penetration throughout the whole dish. You can see the smoke ring when you look at some of these bits of lamb. Let's just have another little taste. Mm. Very well seasoned. So it's got that traditional kebab flavor. So there's obviously a lot of salt coming through, a lot of garlic. Probably the one thing I'd do differently 
slice the meat slightly thinner and give it 24 hours in a slow brine. What that'll do is let the salt and the flavors from the rub penetrate into the meat, which will make it quite consistent throughout each bite. The thing now is we get absolutely delicious crusty bits with on the outside that have a lot of flavor a lot of bark, a lot of texture, and then we've got the contrast with the, the bits from the inside that are a little bit less flavoursome, but still absolutely delicious. <laughs> Thank you and kind regards. What was that? Well, Smoker Dagger fans, I hope you liked the meat we had on offer here tonight. This was lamb, slow cooked, on the rotisserie attachment for the Weber kettle. We did it with our own little special spices, served it up in a nice meat box format. So if you don't like meat box, you should literally get yourself tested by a doctor because there is something wrong with you. This is the end game for lamb rotisserie. For more tips and great barbecue information, stay subscribed and check it out. See you guys. I like the garlic sauce, absolutely delicious. <laughs> <laughs>